Hey, sneaky dash back here. Been away again, I? And do some real work in the real world for a change, you know what I'm saying? Today we are back with Seduction. Oh yeah, Debian based distro, as you well know. I ain't done Seduction for quite a while, but this was their first major update since the last one. It's now 12.1 and it's called Desperado. So we've got Cowboy and the Indian to say that it's a cowboy and Indian one. But no, it's based on Debian. This is the LXD version. There are other flavors. Okay, you can get KDE and you can get XFCE. I don't think there's a gnome, but obviously if you really wanted to, you could put your own one on there if you really wanted to, as it's Debian based. And it's got a bit of the, uh, the unstable branch going down. Okay, so this is LXDE. Look at what you got. Nice. Exit time and date, my ethernet. My two workspaces, which you can get as many as you like, by the way, you know, you can do that. This is not going to be a real long one on it because I've done it before. And there's lots of Debian based distros uh, at the moment, which I'm going to cover, which will cover some of the same things as this one. But what I will say, on its taskbar down the bottom, we have the start button down there. And we have to scan down with our CPU, which is not a lot really. We have LX Terminal. We have the file manager. We have Brazero. Oh, yeah, why Brazero? But never mind, yeah, based on Debian, so why not? Midori is their browser. Right, crashed on me several times. I don't like it, and it's crashed on several of the distros that I've done this week, okay? So, mm, you might want to get a different one, like I did. Claws Mel for your Mel. Does what it says on the tin. And we've got Osmo. I like Osmo. This little calendary thing and does what it says, you know. You can put all your tasks, your contacts, your notes in it, and it can run all the time. As you can see, it's Friday the 25th of May. I'm sure we had the Crescent Moon last night. I may be mistaken. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. You get XChat for your XChat. You also get GPod, a podcast client. Very good to have in there straight away. Bear in mind the download's only around about 500 megs, so that's not too large. Right, Audacious as your music player. Not my cup of tea, but it's there, and you can install whatever you want and remove these from the bar and put what you want in. And finally, we have Gnome M Player for playing your Gnome M Player stuff, like your movies and stuff. Now, as far as I'm aware, it won't play DVDs out of the box. I haven't tried it yet to be really honest with you. No, I've been doing other stuff, lots of other stuff to get on with. So that's what you get on your bar, anyway, which is rather nice. Right, when you first install it, yes, you can run it as a live CD, but if you really want to install it if you want to get the full flavour, you will have to update the system. So if you open your terminal up, I'll just use LX terminal, so it's fine. So if you become root, type in su, it's going to ask for my password, put the password in, and we're done. And you want to do apt get and update and we'll see if I need to update it but I've already done it okay so I'm just gonna go for it with your look zoom 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 nearly done nearly done nearly done, done and it reads our packages to see if we need to do anything but we don't we've already done it all already now after this you'll be able to install synaptic if you don't do this first you can't do it otherwise it's all apt get stuff all command line only a lot of you will just want to get with Synaptic anyway, wouldn't you? So all you will actually do is put apps, get, and install, and Synaptic. Just like so. Now I've already got it, so I don't actually need to do anything else, do I? So that's fine by me, okay? But I've already done that for you, and I'll show you in a second, okay? So we can come out the terminal. That's the first bit out of the way, okay? Let's open our menu, see what we've got, and you think, 500 meg? I want quite a bit for me LXD there, and yes, you so rightly should say so. You do get Brazero, as I said. You get Figaro for your password, Managers, okay, Image Viewer, Leafpad for your text editing, Midnight Commander. Why they put that in there, still, I never know. You get Root Terminal again, Touch Commander, a two panel file manager. A lot of you older people like me will remember that one from back in the day. X Archiver, very good, and Zim. Edit text files, Wiki Styly. Styly, styly, jungle is massive. Okay, it's there if you want to use it. This is all less standard in the distro. I've only installed another browser mostly. You get a document viewer and an Xane image scanner. Works with my scanner, no problem. Under internet, okay, you get Cine, Chromium, which I've installed, Claws Mail, e -links. If you just want text based, ideal, ideal, ideal. G Podder, Midori, needs to be fixed. Putty for your SSH clients. Seduction IRC, Transmission XChat, and XDG Browser Launcher. Under Office, you don't get anything. You're going to have to install that yourself, which we'll go and do in a minute, okay? Under Other, you get loads, which is most of it that's in here. You get loads and loads of stuff, but it's everything that's in the menu anyway, okay? If I scroll down, you'll see what I mean. Blah, 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 blah. See what I mean? It's already all there. Under Programming, you just get Genie, and you've also got Leafpad, don't forget. 
Sand and video, I've already said it all day since I'm zero, and Gnome M player, and G put a podcast kind, which will get Alved, so it's a teletext browser. Interesting. And the system tools, we get the manual, HTOP, install to USB if you really wanted to, a kernel remover for doing your kernel stuff if you really want to play around with the kernel, import your bug, system profiler, and task manager. Should we open that? Let's see what their task manager is. Well, it's LXD, so that's going to be this one. As you can see, it's using no CPU, which is a dual core machine, by the way, and under 100 megs of RAM. So this will run rather sprightly on most machines, okay? If I go back again, I'll just give another little look. If we go back to HTOP, you can see better what we're doing. As you can see, two cores there, doing nothing. Using 103 now, but it's using me swap. So I can live with that, and I'm sure you can too. Oh, yeah. Now, on the whole, it's really nice to use, and nice and fast once it's installed. Live CD, not so good, because you can't do much stuff with it. Okay, as I said before, if we go to System Tools, and we'll go down to, where are we? I don't want that one, I want to go to Other. And we want to go down to Synaptic Package Manager. I'm going to open them up, and they want my password. We'll put that in, and we'll see what we can get. Now, I've already said to you, I've already got Chromium. But say you want something for the Office stuff, there's no Office stuff whatsoever, unless you're going to use Google for doing everything offline, basically, or online, whatever you want to call it. I don't like doing everything in the cloud, personally. You may, I don't. That's our choice in Linux, which I like. So let's type in Abbey Word and see what we come up with. I'm not sure how new one it will be. It could be 2.8, I think. Let's have a look. It's 2.92. Blimey. Stone the crows, stone me up against the wall. I'm stoned. We're going to mark that for installation. It also wants all these. Now, I've got a fast internet connection, so we're going to install it, okay? We're going to click apply. Yeah, 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 yeah. 11 megabytes will be downloaded and 31 of space. I can look at that. And down we go. Well, let's do it. Almost finished. I'm going to quit drinkage. Hang on. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it starts installing for us. Nice and easy. The synaptic way. Now, as far as I'm aware, you can get the package manager that Debian uses like their um, software center installed if you really wanted to. But on the whole, Synaptic's just as good really, and it does the job better, personally, in my opinion, without going bang, 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 bang. Okay, we're nearly done now. Five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. Da, da. It's really hot in the UK at the moment, by the way. I'm sweltering here, it's quite late, as you can see. It's about 24, 25 in my house at night. In May, oh, blimey. What's June gonna say? Okay, we close and wait for Synaptic to reload. Reload, reload. Normally, does it look? Nearly done. And we're done. We can now come out of Synaptic. And we should do, in theory, be able to go down to Office. And Abbey Word will be there. Five, four. Look at that. Super of the duper. I've never seen Abbey Word like that before with a black background. Very interesting. Now, if you're going to use Abbey Word, you're going to have to install the extras. I'm not going to go back to Synaptic and show you, but anything to do with Abbey Word, like the grammar, etc., etc., and all the add ons for Gimpy, etc., please add on and you'll find that Abbey Word will do everything you really want it to do. Right. Finally, I'll go back to Internet and we're going to open Chromium up because Midori just doesn't do it for me at the moment. Sorry, guys, but hey, don't shoot me. I'm only the messenger. Now, I don't want to sign in an email, do I? So if we put in seduction here, la 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 la, and there we are. It's on Distro Watch. I could have gone straight to it, but I'll go this way. You can download it from Distro Watch if you so wish to do so, so that's easy. Okay, it tells you all about it. It's called Desperado. I've already told you all about it, haven't I? There's no gnome, so I was lying, wasn't I? KDE 4.8.3, XFCE 4.8, which I've done that one there, and basic LXD. But using LXD makes it run a lot quicker. Okay, so if your machine's a bit older, okay, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, you, you know what I mean in America. Somebody's planned around with installing Linux and done something they should have done. This is the one maybe for you if you really want your old machine to run whoosh, over the top, whoosh, over the top. Runs nice and fast. I've not installed Flash, okay? No, I'm not. No, no, well, I've not. No, I've just not installed it. Don't want to. I'll check the Bibica for the graphics. Looks good to me. Yes, fine. Comes up nice and fine. I've got to check there. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, I remember it every day. So it works okay. You will have to install Flash if you want to run some videos. Unless you're just going to use um, YouTube, where some will just run anyway because they're using HTML5 and others will need Flash. Okay. Those who know will know what I'm talking about. Right. Seduction. I liked it when it first came out. 
Because remember, as I did tell you before, it's an offshoot of Aptosid. Something went on many moons ago, and this is just a fork of it. So it's community based. I really like it. I'm going to give it 89. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.